This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Conservative rabble rousers are supremely good at, well, they're good at being bad at stuff. They're great at being bad judges of good character, good at being bad stewards of taxpayer dollars, and they're solid at claiming to love and honor our flag while wearing it as clothes and generally violating the flag code at every chance they get. But there is one thing that they're universally fantastic at, and that is being bad at triggering the libs. The most recent example of this comes from noted moron and Fox News nincompoop, Laura Ingram. The other night on her White Supremacy Power Hour, she ended her show with a little segment that had the expressed objective of triggering the libs. A kind of last, a last meal. Well, it, it's a meal that will trigger all the right, all the, I mean, all the left people. Okay, are you ready? Are you really prepared for this? Okay, a warning, here it is, okay? The ultimate trigger sculpture, kind of culinary sculpture. It has everything the Democrats hate, steak, plastic straws, and light bulbs. And if I could have put an SUV on this, I would have, okay? I'm, can you sip a, sip a steak? Mmm, tastes good, it's kind of the vapors of the steak. Oh my God, don't ask me how we came up with this. But these are the light bulbs that Andrew Yang said are so dangerous to the planet because they burn out too often. I have a question, when you, when you push that into the steak, does, is there any conduction whatsoever? That's all the time we have tonight. This someday will be in the Smithsonian. Thanks for watching this special edition of the Ingram Angle, and we'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Ugh. Well, first of all, I can only assume that that was meant to be funny somehow, right? Well, I hate to break it to you, Laura, but you're just the worst. Just the f***ing worst. Stick to what you're good at. Keep hating and demonizing brown people who want nothing more than to come to the United States for a better life for themselves and for their children. Because funny, well, funny isn't working for you, lady. And as far as triggering the left... No one, and I mean no one, is triggered by a steak with light bulbs and plastic straws jammed into it, you objectively clownish half-wit. This whole triggering the libs business has become a cartoonish caricature. A caricature which only serves to out you as the small-minded simpleton you are. And while you might be convincing some Fox News core demographic of frightened poorly educated old white men that the world they live in and have dominated since forever is changing, you're actually just proving the rest of the world right. You're proving us right that you refuse to, in good faith, attempt to address the underlying issues that you're clumsily and idiotically criticizing. Does steak trigger me? No, I eat beef. But that doesn't mean I'm not concerned with the scientific fact that the agricultural requirement of worldwide red meat production is a large contributor to rapid climate change. In fact, according to a recent study by the World Resources Institute, reducing heavy red meat consumption, primarily beef and lamb, would lead to a per capita food and land use related greenhouse gas emissions reduction of between 15 and 35 percent by 2050. And going vegetarian could reduce those per capita emissions by half. And this is directly related to the fact that producing meat is generally more resource intensive and impacts the environment more than producing plant-based foods. You see, beef production requires 20 times more land and emits 20 times more greenhouse gas emissions per unit of edible protein than common plant-based protein sources. But no one is triggered by your straw steak dipshit. As far as your light bulbs and straws, Laura, there are longer, lasting, more energy efficient, and just generally better quality products than the outdated light bulbs you're jamming into a crappy steak on your desk. 
And it is no surprise to anyone paying attention at all to the world we live in that single-use plastic products are a bummer for the environment. And we should all do what we can to avoid them when possible. Especially considering the fact that many of these single-use items, which end up in the oceans, will remain there for hundreds and hundreds of years. But that's hilarious, right, Laura? Ugh. You are sitting there snickering about very real problems while offering no solutions, real or otherwise. Ugh. Again, this boils down to something you Fox News goblins refuse to accept. Reduction in use or consumption doesn't mean banning. And your refusal to address these very real policy obstacles without trying to make them into some senseless culture war is doing very real harm.